This is the celebration we wish we could have in San Diego. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to wait at least another year. This one belongs to Philadelphia. In a city rich with history, culture, and Rocky Balboa, the people chose Baseball Sunday. The crowd outside Citizens Bank Park was thick with red, white, and blue. The backs of jerseys had names like Dykstra, Hoskins, and Harper. Feel great, feel great. You had to keep your eyes open to spot the few Padres fans to brave this crowd. It's hard to get a word in edgewise when Philly fans are wired. A few fingers pointed our way. Uh, we've had some, some interesting comments. You can't blame them. The Phillies only needed one win to head to the World Series. We're going! Oh, in the World Series! Clinch! Come on! These guys didn't know where I came from until I unzipped my jacket to show the Padres shirt underneath. Oh! Padres fans wanted to come out of here with a win and send the team back to Petco Park for game six. It would feel incredible. The clouds opened as the game began. That didn't stop Philly fans, and from outside the ballpark, you knew when it was over. <laughs> Padres fans melted into the escaping crowd. Some even ran, while some felt dejected. It is safe to assume the fans who made it here are proud of their team. I feel optimistic <laughs> because we got farther than anybody thought we were going to get. Let's go! And as the rain went away, Padres fans know their team will be back. Yes. Oh yeah, definitely, without a doubt. It will be a very long flight home for the Padres and their fans, but hopefully they have a glimpse of what could happen in the hopeful near future. In Philadelphia, Joe Little, NBC7. The stories are shared in groups of old friends. We flew over this barren island. Between strangers who just met or a dad teaching his son. Climbing high into the sun. Even the music tells a story from the veterans who've been there. Claim the title of United States Army. And the teenagers who could go there. We'd build stuff and move on, okay, you know. Ed DeRozier's memories are still fresh. I tell stories because they sent me to Vietnam. I thought I was going to get out of it. I'd be on a ship, but they sent me to Vietnam in the jungle. <laughs> Walk around the flight deck of the USS Midway Museum and pause to listen to the Marine. The guy who served in the army. Where are we going now? The Seabees, like Ed. So I wear the hat, so hey, maybe I'll find one someplace. Or the recently retired Air Force captains like Danny Hernandez. Uh, pride for sure. Uh, it's nice to feel that camaraderie again, especially after getting out. The annual salute to service is a celebration of people like Danny and her wife Lydia who is still on active duty with the Air Force. It's awesome to see her meet with people who have similar stories and be able to share those. Get to reminisce on such a great, huge part of our lives. It's really just saying thank you and to show our appreciation. What they have given to this nation, what their families have given as well. That's why Veterans Day is so important. It's a chance to say thank you. Big bridges. Yeah. And listen to the stories so many people have to share. They see you, thank you, thank you, and it, and it feels good. At the USS Midway Museum, Joe Little, NBC7. It's an absolute wave of humanity and monsters. It's hard to describe the amount of people that come to this show. Guys, there's two lines! The extremely vocal try to rein in the scout troopers and Spectre gadgets and serial killers just long enough for them to get inside. Oh, it's great. It's great to be back. Man, it's it's incredible to finally be back to, to Comic-Con. Where a giant Lego float above the floor, 
people take pictures left and right. It is the, the most immense celebration of pop culture ever. And those familiar addresses organize the people below. Yes, <laughs> exactly. People like Tony Washington, who's talking shop in Artist's Alley. Some of my license work for The Crow. And also talking with the next generation. You got some good stuff, man. I got hired at this show when I was 18, out of, out of, out of high school. You got your stuff, go show them. It literally means everything to be able to share what I've learned over almost three decades. That's awesome. I'm all, I, I would frame that and put it in the house. Everyone's feeding off Comic Con. Thor is here. His buddy Hawkeye is here. There's this furry round thing. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of them are spending money. Tons of it. This is the Super Bowl of our industry. Uh, it's the biggest event of the year for us. But angry John of Graham Cracker Comics says they're not competing with each other. It's phenomenal because it helps not only us, it helps the community, it helps fellow dealers. It is a community. Awesome. What's Thanks. Your, your... One of all shapes and colors. Comic-Con is a celebration of everyone. And that's, and that's literally what's the most important thing about this show. It's awesome. It's really awesome.